Allahati Rasulullah al-Amri minkum and always a reminder for myself and Abdul Ajis al Daifu, Miskeen, Al Zalim, Jahal. Remember for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah we took a path in which to be nothing in the holy month of Shahwan and the reality of binary code. Alhamdulillah so many examples of on and off in every th- aspect of our lives and the blessings that people receive from learning to be off and taking a path to be off. That not only the individual receives the blessings of being off and the path of being off and everyone around them receives the blessings through the greatest reality of off is Muhammadun Rasulullah in which Prophet described that the greatest name Allah named me was Abdullah and the immensity of Abd and Allah and that Allah being one and Abd being Nuh the dot and that the reality of Prophet is the immensity of that binary code that Allah created the reality of Muhammad Rasulullah in a state in which to be the off, the most humble of creation, the most worthy of and most praiseworthy of this creation in which its entire reality was to be off in the oceans of servanthood. And as a result Allah reflects these lights and all of humanity receives its blessings by virtue of that being off. Had anything been even slightly more on it wouldn't have received the immensity of what Allah conveyed from the reality of La ilaha illallah. There's nothing that can take that reality, there's nothing that can hold that reality, there's nothing that can compete with that reality. And so Allah a treasure and a secret wanting to be known will never be known and only known through the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah So then the ultimate kalima… As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And binary code is La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah. So it's an immense secret of this on and off and effacement and that the greatest symbol of the servant in which Allah created that servanthood to not compete with it, not have an ego with the Divinely Presence. And as a result as soon as Allah wants to send that reality becomes on, that reality is the, is the means in which Holy Qur'an will be conveyed to all of creation, Divinely Power conveyed to all of creation. So we all benefit from the immense reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and from that the holy companions and holy Ahlul Bayt and family of Prophet Allah fi samai wa fil ard they set that example that this is the system to achieve, this is the power oceans to achieve, that to receive from that reality, to be dressed from that reality. So this is the system that has been enacted and we see and benefit 
with all our lives. We said all our technology comes from binary code, from a system of on and off, an electrical pulse that when it comes it's on. And the recipient, the reciprocal of that energy must be an off state, <coughs> otherwise the on can't reach to it because it's a flow from La ilaha illallah has to flow to the negative state. <coughs> As a result when it hits that negative state it turns it to be on from a continuous fana wa baqa, fana wa baqa in which it annihilates into nothingness and when the energy hits it, it's brought back into its existence at a continuous state of existence and non-existence. So the immensity of that reality is, is something that can't comprehend but we spend our life in that contemplation. And the reality that these only Allah put within their kalam that anything else you seek that if you want to argue about your madhab you didn't make it. If you want to argue about your fiqr you didn't make it. If you want to argue about your salah you didn't make it. And the only one who can see that all these created universes, everything in existence is in this one nukht. And if we don't reach to that then we didn't reach to what Allah wanted to dress us of the highest reality and people will spend their lives focusing on, focusing on their physical and physical aspects of their submission and their religion. And when only we negate the physical and the circumference and the form then we can truly begin to enter into the oceans of the nukh, the oceans of malakut and light in which all realities exist within that. And that those realities like somebody asked last night, they are timeless, the world of light has no time. And Allah is outside of all concepts of time, Allah is outside of all concepts of creation. So, La ilaha illallah means La ilaha illallah, that nothing but Allah He shares that with no creation, no space, no time. Because time is a creation, so Allah is not created. So all of these immensities again is the path of the nukht. If they're not on a path of the nukht they don't understand these. How could they think that Allah has a form, a location? So these are all the, the depth of that reality when we negate the mulk and focusing on the mulk. And Allah opened for us malakut and the immensity of that reality inshaAllah. I <coughs> pray that Allah give us more and more understanding in which to reach to these realities <coughs> and only through tafakkur and contemplation can the servant negate oneself and begin to focus on the greater power and the greater reality. We discussed last night that <clears throat> they were nice questions because many people have the same thoughts. The shaykh, I read Qur'an and I pray and all day I'm having difficulties. And the arrogance of, of humans and not the particular person asking the question but this is the arrogance of pride and egoism that they think if they read Qur'an and they make salah they achieve the highest stations. And only at that point they realize they only began to enter into the battle because the one whom not reading, not practicing their religion it left everything and is playing with shaitan. But only when we begin to do any form of worshipness we didn't achieve the, the final, we just entered the battlefield. And that's what tariqah teaches. So, <clears throat> when people come and think, I did, I did this, why this happening? Says, you've only entered this battle and you're not well equipped into reaching the final goal. And that's why I said that you can read Qur'an but you don't enact the Qur'an. 
You can read hadith but you don't enact the hadith, it doesn't become an action for you. You're a passive reader, you read as if in stories. And the tariqah comes to teach us, no it has to be real, that goes slower. So there's certain ayahs that the tariqahs are focusing on and these are gateways to the reality of the self. So that when you read the Qur'an we try in our life that, am I enacting that? Am I making that to become something real for myself? Then it becomes a question of living the Qur'an, that we don't want to read, we want to live the Qur'an. And then reading hadith and translating many hadith, Sallallahu Alaihi was Nabi al-Kareem or living the hadith. We take a fewer amount and then we use it for symbols and doorways into the reality of tafakkur and contemplation and we say, am I living this hadith? One such gateway that we talked last night is that who knows himself, araf al-nafsuhu, araf al-rabbuhu, rabb not Allah. This is when the bad ego enters in and says, Allah who knows himself will know Allah. That's not the word that Prophet used, said, who knows his nafs, not his soul, who knows his nafs will know his Rabb. So this is the gateway that our life should be, take this hadith and I have to learn to know myself, my nafs. I have to know that my nafs it's wickedness, it's badness, it's bad character, it's bad desires, it's characteristics and my life then is now to fight that. So then we become a people whom we are actually living hadith so that when Prophet look to us and then is pleased that these are my people whom they live my word, they walk the walk and they talk the talk. Right? They read it, they try their best, doesn't mean they're perfected, no way. In this world there is no perfection. The perfection is Sayyidina Muhammad But they read the word and their life is, Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasulul Kareem, grant me himmah. That if you're nazar kareem to dress upon me so that I can walk this way, I can walk what you've spoken. And I can make your hadith to be real and in living flesh for myself. And this becomes then the path of the nukht and the reality of the nukht. That's what separates these schools from other people. So in every aspect they take a path in which to be nothing. When they read Qur'an they try to live Qur'an because they may sit with us and say, oh, oh Akhi your Arabic is, is incomplete. You have this, you're like this, they find all your faults but that's not important because this was not a, a rush to memorize. We are not in a, in a rush or a race to a finish line but we're taking an ayah at a time and saying, which one of them have you enacted on your life? When Allah said, taqullah wa kunu ma sadiqeen. That did you open taqwa and as a result did you follow kunu ma sadiqeen? That you followed the sadiq because some people claim their own taqwa, yeah I have taqwa, who said? The, the imam at the mosque said, I have taqwa and that he has taqwa. Well we order from taqwa meets but that's not the same. Taqwa is not something we call each other, there's a whole science in the reality of that taqwa. That what is the sincerity of your ears, your eyes, your breath, your hands, your feet? And then Allah give part two of it, then qunu ma sadiqeen, then you must be with sadiq servants, truthful servants, that they reach their heart opened and that they're licensed guides for that reality. And as a result we've lived the ayah, ittaqullah. Wa alimukumullah. Then Allah said, for those same servants, if they have a taqwa, Allah will be their teacher. 
because they come back and say, who taught you this? Who gave you this? Who, who taught you this? Who taught you that? So then if you live in Qur'an, Allah answers that for you. Allah tells them, no, itaqullah wa alimukumullah, that if my servant has taqwa, I will teach my servant. So means the haqqaiqs, they're being conveyed through a heart, through sincerity. So throughout Qur'an is something that we in our best of efforts try to live. So that not a competition, it's not a game, it's not a, a fight for this and fight for that and say, you don't follow usul, you don't follow sharia. Then they make a, a seat and a chair of judgment to judge servants in which Allah in the first usul said, don't make shirk a khafi, don't sit to judge people but try to be nothing. The reach La ilaha illallah, when we really understood La ilaha illallah means not me nor you exist. All that exist is Allah and that me and you are a fake existence in a moment and a flash. Because when a pulse in binary comes, the pulse, I mean the source pulse of this binary code is Allah izzat and might. And from Allah izzat and might if you watch the binary electronic systems it's but a fraction of a second that the energy comes, hits and then it becomes off. So this on and off is in a fraction of a second. All this creation is in less than that fraction of a second in which La ilaha illallah wanted to be known the pulse came, Muhammad Rasulullah and Allah collapsed all of creation and remains La ilaha illallah where there is nothing but La ilaha illallah. And we all exist within that moment of a fraction of a second, only the time period for which our brains can understand. So then what's the argument? What people trying to to judge people and argue with people, fight with people and in the end we don't even exist. And in that fraction of that moment that Allah gives to us for our marifa, He said, you wasted all of that for your physical and for your physical understanding and that you didn't reach to an understanding of this universe and that everything exists within that nuqt in which you negated all of that and you went into the ocean powers. Because who's the master of that negation is Muhammadun Rasulullah When they reach to the Muhammadan heart, the one whom is the master of negation in which at every moment Prophet negate. As soon as he negates the power, izzat and might of La ilaha illallah strikes and as soon as it strikes it awakens and brings that reality into existence. Means the immensity of this on and off, the immensity of negating oneself and the immensity of what the highest targets of awliya should be and not get into the dirtiness of dunya, fighting in dunya, backbiting in dunya, spreading gossips and rumors and, and uh, making collaborations and, and whatever people are doing is strictly from egoism in which to give some importance to their ego in which the true path of awliya is being described. In which there's no wali that says they're the one and that everybody must bow down to them. But wilayat was the symbol and those whom took the path of wilayat and to follow the saints was the symbol of being a nukht, was the symbol of being a nukht. Not the imitation of Pharaoh, go and say, you have to take bayat to me. You, 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 have to, you have to follow me, if you don't listen to me I throw you out. 
I'm this, I'm that, I'm dressed with this and that. No, but they came as a symbol of a nuqt. A nuqt goes and teaches everybody how to be a nuqt, teaches everybody that we're missing everything. You want the power, you want the qudra, not power of physical power to control people but do you want to receive Allah's grace? You want to receive Allah's nazar, you want to receive all these heavenly blessings and dressings? And that's why if you understand what we're saying tonight you'll understand why we focus on Muhammadun Rasulullah How can you reach to negate yourself and reach to the one of Allah when the current only flows to Muhammadun Rasulullah Any other door in which you try to reach, La ilaha illallah that I'm going to come to your door and negate myself, it's not true. There's no Prophet, there's no religion, there's nothing that can negate you in the presence of La ilaha illallah except Muhammadun Rasulullah There are levels of submission but to be nothing and to reach the true nuqt and true binary Every Prophet of Allah needed to enter the door of Muhammadun Rasulullah And we've spoken many times, why Sayyidina Musa salam wanted to be humiliated by Sayyidina Khidr Because when he's a one for his community but he wants to reach the true oneness of Allah. Then Allah said, I'll send you to one of my servants, one of my Muhammadan servants in which to test you and bring you down to a nuqt and gave him the path of nuqt. That's why the tariqah is based on Surat Al-Kahf and that Allah gives the people of the nuqt, the cave, these are the guidelines when accompanying these types of servants. Don't talk until they ask you, you won't have patience from the knowledges they have and what limited understanding you have. All of the adab of Surat Al-Kahf is the reality of the way of the nuqt and that all Prophets of Allah needed to enter into Muhammadun Rasulullah and Allah completed their deen by Israhi wal Miraj because all the the Prophets had to enter into the salah and they had to pray behind Muhammadun Rasulullah In tahiyyat they have to give their tashahud and they have to give their shahada and that they have to witness that there is what? La ilaha illallah and Muhammadun Rasulullah the only binary code for Allah and as a result they all become dressed with the lights of Muhammadun Rasulullah and now they are able to enter into their annihilation. Otherwise there is no way to annihilate and enter into the presence of that power, the one, the power that, that sends to all to make everything to be negated. And there's no negation except through the door of Sayyidina Muhammad and that's why then the tariqahs are so immensely powerful and the reality that they carry is that those shaykhs and whomever they are that teach the way of the nuqt. Not all shaykhs are created equal and not all shaykhs have the same knowledge and that to go around and call somebody Sultanul Awliya is a big harm. That you can lead Naqshbandiya but has nothing to do with Sultanul Awliya. Sultanul Awliya is, is a station that not understood and for our time the trust was not given to anyone on this earth and the only one holding the trust on this earth is Imam Ali And that's everybody has to know that, that the one who holds the trust for all tariqahs and for the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi is Sahib al Waqt Sayyidina Muhammad al Mahdi because nobody's capable of that. And the only thing that's necessary and the purpose of the tariqahs existing 
were to be a school of manners, good manners in which you teach people to be a nuqt, not a political system, not a backbiting system, not a conspiracy system but a system in which to teach people to be a nuqt. And so the importance of these realities is not titles, not to say this one is this, this one is that. This one is no one and you shouldn't think of anyone as a title but are they teaching how to be a nuqt because that's the only title that's important is to reach to the realities of servanthood in which Prophet described the greatest name, the greatest what the nasheed we have. The greatest thing that Allah did was when He called me Abdullah because He's giving us the secret that Allah has conveyed to me that I'm His servant. I reached the reality of that servanthood and later on only are coming and describing that He is the doorway of servanthood. And this is the importance in our life, reminder to myself as people are looking for titles and, and, and <coughs> inspiring other people to use ridiculous titles is the only title that counts is the path of the nuqt, means the path of, of servanthood in which if you are taking a path to be a nuqt and are you teaching other people to be a nuqt, to be a dot in the binary code effacing oneself and that's only through tafakkur and contemplation. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.